Hello, artist friends. How are you? I'm happy that you're back, and I'm happy that I'm back because we are going to make some art together. So, last week we went on some clay adventures. I saw some really cute little snails and snail families, also some coil pots. Well, today we are going to continue to work yet again with clay, or in my case, I'm using kind of like a Play-Doh. Oh look, it even has a rainbow, cute. <laughs> so we're gonna use um, clay again and build something with our hands. I'm excited to tell you all about it. Do you recognize this turtle? It's Chispita, our turtle in the turtle patio at the ECC. Last school year, some ECC friends painted Chispita and we added so many colors and decorations. Some kids even painted rainbow legs. And we used Chispita as inspiration for our art fair last year. Here is a big paper mache Chispita. And surrounding Chispita, maybe you notice there are lots of mini turtle babies. Look here. ECC friends last year created ceramic turtles. If you were in K2 last year, maybe you remember making one. If so, great. You'll already have some practice for today's clay turtle adventure. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate or show you step by step how to make today's clay art project. Even if it's a little difficult for you, just try, try, try again, because that's how we get better. Here are some examples of the turtles that you will make today. So I'm gonna take you step by step. For last week's clay adventure, many friends used Play-Doh. So I bet a lot of friends will wanna use Play-Doh again this week, but any type of clay works. All right, for step number one, we're gonna make a ball. Do you remember how to do that? We did that in another video. What we did is we roll, 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 either with two straight hands or on a table or flat surface, whoops. <laughs> and you can also tap, tap, tap to make a ball of clay. Once you have a ball of clay, you're ready for step number two. You might be surprised by the next step. For the next step, you're gonna take your shoe and step on your clay. Ah! You might think I'm joking, but I'm actually not. Let's look at the bottom of this shoe. There's a really interesting texture. It's bumpy and there's kind of a pattern. I see like wavy lines going one way and wavy lines going the other way. That's the texture, how it feels. Now, if we look at the bottom of this shoe, it has a different texture. I see lots of little circles and then I even see a wavy line like this. Now, we're gonna step on our clay with our shoes. So I actually wiped down the bottom of my shoe with a wet wipe. You don't have to do that, but just make sure your shoes aren't full of sand or dirt because then your Play-Doh will get kind of icky. Okay, friends, so my shoe is on and I am going to step with the front, the ball of my foot, whoop, right onto the clay. Then I'm gonna slowly lift my foot up. Oh, and sometimes it actually gets stuck. If it gets stuck, you can just slowly take it off. Maybe you might need someone to help you out with this. And here we have our turtle shell. I love it. I got a little bit of dirt on there, so I'm actually just gonna pick that off. And a little bit over here as well, but it looks pretty good. And now with this other one, I want to see what happens when I do the bottom of this shoe here. So I'm going to step my sandal down and slowly pick it up. And voila! I love the pattern that I created. So here are my two turtle shells. All right, so for the next step, we're going to make coils. Do you remember last week we made coils? either with our coil spiral snails 
or our coil pots. I'm gonna start with kind of like a little sausage of clay and then I'm going to roll it out, going back and forth. And then once it gets long enough, I can actually use two hands, starting in the middle and going across. Now the important thing to know is that this needs to be longer than your shell. So this is perfect. Here's my blue turtle shell, and it needs to be just a little longer on one side and a little longer on the other side. So I'm gonna make one, here, I'll leave it there. And now I'm gonna make three of these guys. So I'm gonna roll, roll, roll. Is this long enough? Nope, because it's too short. I need it to be longer than my shell. So here I am rolling out my third coil. So roll out three in total. Now I have one, two, three coils. They're all about the same size and they are longer than my turtle shell. So my turtle shell has a really cool texture on this side. On the back, it should be pretty smooth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my turtle shell and I'm gonna flip it over to the back. And what I'm gonna create here is I'm gonna create a letter X. So I'm gonna make one coil go this way and the other coil go this way, like an X. See, a little cross like this. All right, so I have the X here, two diagonal lines. And then with my third one, I'm actually just gonna go straight up and down. So it's kind of like I'm making a star. So I go criss, cross, up and down. Once you have the three coils placed on the, the circle or the shell, we're going to carefully take it and flip it over. Now I'm going to kind of bend it a little bit so that all of my um, coils touch the ground. And voila, I have created a turtle. I might want to add two little eyes. So if you have like a pencil or the back of a paintbrush, some sort of stick, you can add the eyes by punching it in, or you can just make your own like so. Maybe I'll do a little dot on top there. Oh, perfect. I like that best. So cute. Here, I'll show you more close up. Look at the little eyes. You can also add a smile or any other decorations. I want this to be the tail, so I'm gonna make it a little bit pointy and a little bit shorter, actually. You might even want to give your turtle some little toenails here. Okay, I'm gonna do one, two, three little dots. Let's review. So I roll out three coils and then I flip my shell and I make an X with a straight line, kind of like a star. When I flip it back over, I can add the details like eyes, toenails, or any other decorations that I wanna add. Here, I used the back of a pencil to get those cool shapes. I hope you enjoyed today's clay adventure. I know I sure love to work with Play-Doh and work with my hands. So I can't wait to see what you make send them my way. And until next time, I'm going to send you a hug and a kiss. <sighs> Goodbye, my amazing, fabulous, wonderful artists. Bye.